Well, hello folks, welcome to another smoke. So, uh, got Diet Coke, if I, can get to, if I can get it to open. And I do like these smaller cans. I prefer to buy these smaller cans of Diet Coke because they, they do sell them in the uh, regular size, uh, I think it was a uh, eight ounce cans. What are you doing, dog? Of course, water. You gotta keep hydrated. <clears throat> so today I'll be smoking my last Nub Connecticut. So I'll probably have to order more if, if there's even any that I can order. Uh, I'm going to toast it up. Okay, nice smooth draw. Right. Yeah, and that's why you need a torch lighter too. Now, I know some guys prefer to use matches or they'll, they'll use uh, the cedar cedar sticks to uh, to light their sticks, light their cigars. So basically, I guess I've got a few uh, things to go over, and, and, and I guess, and I guess, I know I've been I've been on the bit shoot now for about, uh, I guess the first year the bit shoot came out. So uh, so I'm on there for what I think three four years now. Uh, before then, it was uh, I'm still on. Uh, the, what's, what's that? Um, the other one. But anyways. This one is just a quick, uh, for the normies, and by normies, I mean people who uh, are on YouTube looking up um, cooking recipes, DIY, funny cat videos, Russian fails, those are what I call normies. And bit shoot is not for you. Uh, if you come on the bit shoot, uh, things you're gonna run into would be like, a, take, take, take the flat earth on YouTube, Multiply that by a hundred, and that, that's that's what you're going to get over on a bit shoot. You're going to get the uh, the uh, government conspiracy. Uh, it's all over the place. You know, you'll get the uh, the alt right is on there. Uh, you you'll get the Nazis were right on there. Uh, you know, uh, you get the, uh, the, the tons. You know, everyone. Well, not everyone. You'll get lots of guys on there with the Jew this, the Jew did this, Jew did that, uh, <clears throat> and and of course there's the, and of course the the, the reverse, you know, the, the, the white man, the white man did this, the white man did that. So basically, yeah. So basically, a uh, bit shoot is. Uh, <clears throat> A, a um, it is it is w w uh, what YouTube was at the beginning, which is a uh, <clears throat> which is a uh, social media form where people went on and vo pretty much voiced their opinion, rather the opinion was right or wrong. You know they they were allowed to voice their opinion, and yes, and and when you're there, you will run into trolls just like on YouTube. What is a troll? A troll or a troll? Trolls will have multiple troll accounts. Uh, basically, these accounts will have uh, no content, no videos. A lot of times, they won't even have avatars. And, you, and and when you run into them, just ignore them. You know, and, and if you're going to reply, just give one reply. Because if you keep going back and forth with the troll, you're feeding the troll. That's what the troll wants. Uh, so what I'll normally do is just go go once, you know, two, three times at the most. And I, have to, and, I, and I have to tell myself, look, man, this guy's a troll. Just let him be. And sometimes they will come onto your video. And, uh, you know, if, if it gets really bad, of course, you can block them. Uh, <clears throat> now, with BitChu, you run into the same, same trolls who will uh, flag spam uh, videos. Uh, uh, on BitChute, un unlike on YouTube, you can actually flag spam comments. 
So a comment section can actually get flag spammed and uh, your comments can actually uh, uh, get deleted. Of course, you, you would have to uh, either, um, I guess, reach out to the, uh, to the content creator. So, so if you're on someone's video, you make a comment and I guess some trolls don't like your comment, they'll, they'll flag spam it and, and it'll, it'll get deleted. And, and, uh, and, and, well, don't want cigar, cigar crack, what the heck? The humidor shows 70% 70, 70 humidity, but yet the, you can see there, the wrapper, the wrapper cracked. Huh. And of course, once a year, you are supposed to recalibrate your, uh, uh hydro, uh, I think it's called hydrometers. And I've yet, I, I've yet this year. I normally do it during the summertime, so so um, it, it might be time to re recalibrate the hydrometer. But that's about it, bit shoot. Just just be warned if you come over, all the stuff that's on YouTube, it's going to be multiplied by a hundred <laughs> on bit shoot. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, so if you're a normie, just stay on bit shoot. But if you're looking for uh, alternate content that, that's getting blocked uh, on YouTube, then yeah, come on over to bit shoot. You'll, you'll you'll probably enjoy it. You just have to weed through all of the uh, <clears throat> all the other stuff and yes and here in Texas you know, down in um, liberal Houston uh, some judge uh, uh, well they're saying she's not really a judge she's more she's more of a like a um, uh, I guess a, 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 a official in this case they're calling her a, 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 a uh, well they're saying she's a judge and then they're saying well she's not really a judge she's more like a, a, a county executive so so basically the the report is saying a county judge. Well, the thing is, that if she presides over a court, then she's a judge. And judges shouldn't be making rules and laws. Now, now if she's just an employee, a, a, uh, a state, or in this case, a county employee or a county official, then they shouldn't be giving her a title of judge. So it's confusing. So anyways, this lady... Um, I guess made up, passed a law. I, I don't know how she passed it. I guess, I guess it's, you know, because yeah, because right now the liberals are loving this uh, pseudo socialism that we're that we're living in. They're they're loving flexing their uh, socialist muscle, just like this uh, uh, liberal judge down in Houston. Um, and I understand that there are laws that are for your own good, like seatbelt laws. <clears throat> uh, and I agree with the seatbelt law because uh, before it, it was a because um, because it was back in the what 1950s is when it was the government the government made it, made it mandatory that all all car manufacturers put seatbelts in their car but it wasn't mandatory for people to wear seatbelts and it wasn't that until the 80s when it became law where you can actually be fined for not wearing seatbelt so anyway she passed. She made a law to where if you're out in public, or if you're in, or, or if you're at a public place or public gathering, like a store, you know, picking up food at the restaurant, that you have to wear a mask. <clears throat> now, and something like that which is which is temporary. No, because 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 I God, I hope you don't have to keep wearing masks forever, or out in public. Now, something like that that's temporary, where hey, you know, two months down the road, three months down the road, we're going to be over it. Then no, there don't need to be no law where someone can actually go to jail, be fined. You know, a a. a uh... Now now now, of course, if it's up to the um, to the business, so let's say you go to a restaurant and the owner decide, hey, look, if if you're gonna come here to pick up some food, then you need to wear a mask. Or if Walmart or whatever decides, hey, if you want to come to our store, you gotta wear a mask when you come in. Now that I'm okay with if the business decides to say it, because <clears throat> you can choose to go somewhere else, or, or you know shop online. Which of course, speaking of shop online, of course Amazon made again they made 20, 24 billion and counting. Yeah, so yeah, so Houston's always been known as a. I call it the I call it the anus of Texas, and growing up here in Texas. Texas and Houston have always had the rep of being a, 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 a bad city. 
uh, you know, I, had, I think I think it was a, in my younger years, I'd had some, some buddies who went to some rock concert. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't remember who they went to go watch, but yeah, they, they came back like, man, we got mugged outside of, we got mugged outside of the concert arena. I'm like, really? You got mugged? It's like, damn, man. They're like, yeah, man, sucks. <clears throat> yes, and, 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 and if I go to Houston, there's only two places that I go. One is to the, uh, is to the China, is to Chinatown or, or the Asian district, shopping district, which is like in the north. The northwest part of Houston is where it's at. I go there, or we drive through Houston, go down to uh, Padre Island. That's it. Uh, yeah, I mean, we made we made the mistake at one time. It's like, hey, let's let's go check out downtown Houston. There ain't nothing down in downtown Houston but homeless. <clears throat> well, so uh, yes, and and of course, everyone is already. You know, cover this. And I'll cover it real quick. Is that you know the U.S. You no know, China is under reporting, and supposedly, supposedly they're they're locking down um, uh, more cities now that that are uh, I guess becoming Wuhan 2.0. So basically, China's under reporting, U.S. is over reporting, and I don't know how. Uh, you know, reports are coming out that the. Uh, the virus came out of some lab, some lab in Wuhan, and that, that lab has U.S. ties, meaning uh, you know, you know, leftist communist ties in the U.S. People, are, a lot of people say, hey man, you know, Bill Gates funded that lab. Some people say, hey, Dr. Fauci's got con, it's got connections with that lab, like like he, like he, I don't know how rich Dr. Fauci is, but supposedly he gave about three and a half million to that lab in Wuhan that the coronavirus came out of. Now, believe me, no, Dr. Fauci, no, he, no, he's not, he's not a conservative, he's not a Republican. He's a, I don't think he's a Democrat either. Uh, I don't know what, what his political leaning is, but, uh, you know, I, I guess, I guess he goes where the money is. So they're saying he's got ties to that lab. They're saying Bill Gates owns that lab or he has a huge funding in that lab. So, so basically, when the Chinese say that there are there, there are U.S. ties to the Wuhan to the uh, to the to the Wuhan virus or the CCP virus, they're partially correct, you know. But, the, but of course, it's communists here in the U.S. So, so I guess they're they're they're, they're comrades, you know, comrades locking arms, you know, swinging back and forth. <clears throat> And yeah, and, and, and as I stated in the other video, yeah, we should go ahead and reopen the economy. You know, we're we're past we're past the flat curve. Or, or, or we're past the peak, basically. We're now we're now on the uh, on the downslide. So you know, and and and, and, and of course we got uh, the the professionals uh, talking about no no no. We, we probably need to wait until August. But the problem is if we, if we wait till August. We all might as well just use the dollar bill to wipe our ass because that's what it's going to be worth, you know, come August. You know, toilet paper is going to be worth more. <clears throat> yes, and of course, we, we got, you know, people in, in the uh, third world shitholes who are uh, celebrating the, uh, <laughs> you know, the, um, you know, the misery that we're, that we're encountering here in the U.S., I guess there's that saying, you know, misery loves co loves company. So, but of course, we'll have the last laugh because the problem is the thing is that the U.S., you know, we feed and give money to the world basically. And if we're starving, we're not giving you any <laughs> any food. And if we're broke, you ain't getting no money. So, uh, laugh while you can. Oh yes, and and, and talking about Houston, the. Uh, and here in Dallas too, they're, they're closing down the the uh, what you call it the I guess the the emergency hospitals that uh, that was that was uh, put together for the coronavirus. So basically, the the uh, the extra coronavirus hospitals they're not being used. 
at least here in Dallas, in Houston, the, the, the hospitals are not being overwhelmed. Uh, so, they're, so they're closing. So, so when people are saying, hey, I'm, I'm going to hospitals and, and I'm not seeing it being overwhelmed, they're, they're, they're correct. Yeah, so here in Dallas and in Houston, they're closing down the, the extra hospitals that they open because they're not being used and they're, they're, you know, they're taking up money, taking up space and money. <clears throat> and the same thing for New York. You know, the New York said that they need 60,000 hospital bed. You know, so we gave them a hospital ship you know, and gave them that. Um, so basically, they were given 60,000 hospital, extra hospital bed. They're only using 16,000 of that 60,000. So, so I guess in a way, it is, it is probably better to over, uh, overestimate than underestimate. So, uh, so yeah, so, there's, so, so basically, they, they, there's about, what, 40,000 40, beds that's just sitting idle, uh, costing money. Yeah, and, and I'm pretty sure in your neck of the uh, neighborhood, if, if you live in a mid-sized to large city, you probably have one of these uh, coronavirus um, hospitals that were set up to take on the extra patients, which probably, unless you're in unless you're in California, New York, uh, you know it, it, it's not being used. Yeah, I don't even think they're being used in California. <sighs> yeah, I wrote down all this stuff so I remember what to go over. Yes, and, and definitely check out, if you have the book, read it. I suggest reading the book. But, uh, but yes, Animal, animal Farm definitely uh, is a good uh, 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 representation of what's happening right now. You know, you, you uh, of course, you have the humans. The humans are the, uh, the humans in, in Animal Farm represents the, the, uh, I guess the the ones who are in power, the 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 elites, humans are the elites. The dog uh, represents the watchdog. He he's the one that's kind of you know watching over things, and uh, you know making sure you know uh, uh, the, the the farm stays. Uh, I, I wouldn't say he I wouldn't say he's the police. Then you got the pigs, who are the socialists. Or of course, and the pigs turn, and of course, at the end, the social, the pigs turn into the socialist elites. Then of course you have the sheep, who are of course the the uh, the, the sheeples, because they because um, everything because everything the uh, the pig says, I forgot his name. Uh, damn, I forgot that that the the, the main pig's name. Uh, this is a this is this is actually a mild cigar. In case I haven't mentioned it, so. There's a Connecticut wrapper, which is a mild wrapper. I don't know which, I don't know which which filler or binding they put in this, but it's not a very strong cigar at all. Now this cigar, I can definitely smoke it down to the nub and keep the ash intact. But then again, it is a nub. Damn it! I probably need to watch it. I probably need to watch it again. I have the book. I've not read it. It's ebook. Uh, <clears throat> And of course, the horse. The horse represents the working, the working class. Uh, I think there's chickens. I don't know what. So of course, that have the chicken. There's the goat. But anyways, the first, the first one to go was the horse, which is the working class. You know, the, the, and that's what they're doing right now. Uh, 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 dur during communist takeover, rather be, uh, you know, Stalin, Mao, uh, Kim Jong Un, North Korean. Uh, what's his name in Vietnam? That Mao Zedong in Vietnam. No, no, Mao Zedong's China. Uh, Ho Chi Minh in Vietnam. <clears throat> the first thing they did was got rid of production. They they they, they stopped farms. They, they stopped farmers from farming. And uh, yeah, so first thing they want to do, of course, if 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 the masses are starving, you, you don't. Uh, so basically, if the masses are starving, you you don't have. You don't have time to think about revol uh, revolting. When all you're thinking about is food, you ain't got time to think of, man, this government sucks, I'm gonna revolt. <coughs> now this, this, 
<laughs> this Diet Coke has a lot of fizz in it. Now, yes, I have cut a lot of sugar out of my diet. <clears throat> and of course, Diet Coke has the fake sugar. So yeah, I know some of you are saying, hey man, Diet Coke ain't exactly healthy either. But it's, it's still, still better than drinking a uh, can of Coke, which has like 39 grams, which equals about 12 tablespoons of sugar. <clears throat> Alright, so, yeah, so the first to go was the horse. The horse was the first to sent, sent off to the, uh, yeah, because the horse represents production. He, he, he represents the working class. So the first, first thing they do is get rid of production. And that's what they're doing right now, because they're getting rid of production. There's nothing being produced right now. Everything is closed down. <clears throat> of course, they kept the cow. The cow represents, to me, to me the cow represents the, the, uh, the supermarket, you know, we're still able to buy food and things like that. That that's the cow, but they got rid of the horse. That that's the working, the, the production. And then soon after they got rid of the horse, they got rid of the dog. Uh, of course, the dog represents the. I guess I guess the dog would represent the police. So so they got rid of they got rid of the dog, which is the police. <clears throat> They kept the sheeps, and the sheeps, like I said, the sheeps regurgitate everything the pigs say. So originally it was uh, uh, two legs bad, four legs good. <clears throat> then at the end, when the pigs became the socialist elites, it was uh, four legs good, two legs better. <laughs> yeah, you can watch it with your kid. I, I, I believe when I was going to school, that, that was a middle school. Uh, I had to read that in middle school, so so it was. Uh... <laughs> and of course, being as a kid, I read it. I didn't. I didn't get. I didn't get the the. Uh... Yeah, and now I, I I don't know if they even have Animal Farm, as it required reading in school now. But back then, it, it was a middle school <laughs> required reading. At least the middle school I went to. <clears throat> and of course, back then as a kid, I said I I didn't make the connection between. <clears throat> you know the. Uh... George Orwell's, you know, that being a, a, a socialist satire. So that's that's basically what Animal Farm is. This is a socialist socialism satire. Let me undo the ban. Yes, and of course Trump is trying to. Of course he's he, of course he closed the border to China back in January. You no, know, he's called a xenophobe. He's called a racist. Fast forward to March, you know, <laughs> now the communist Democrats are talking about, oh, Trump didn't do enough. He was too slow in his response. Like, what are you talking about? Back in January, he closed the border to China. You call him a racist. <clears throat> so anyway, now he's closing. Now he's shutting down immigration altogether. Uh, 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 you and, and know, the uh, uh, you know, fiancé visa, marriage visa, uh, <clears throat> work visas. Visitors' visa are, are all on hold. Here's the thing: it's, it's, it's been on hold for months, for, for a month already. So, ah, June bugs are out. Get on my table, June bug. <clears throat> so, if you're trying to get a you know a, a visa into the U.S., rather be uh, you know work visa, student you know, student visa, <clears throat> marriage visa, whatever, you weren't getting it. So, visas were on hold already. So now Trump's just coming out saying, hey, we're, we're putting all immigration on hold. And of course, the Democrats, <clears throat> their heads are exploding. <coughs> you know, of course, they're calling Trump a racist, a xenophobe, the same thing that they did back in January when he closed the border to China. And Trump is saying, hey, it's temporary now. I'm just, I'm just halting the immigration process for the next three to six months. <clears throat> Yes, and of course, you know, I, I didn't realize this, that the, I always thought it, it, it wasn't the case, but supposedly, from Jimmy Carter all the way to uh, Obama, uh, supposedly the, the, they won, and of course it's based on electoral college, but supposedly they won on the minority vote. And of course, that's <clears throat> that should be common knowledge. 
you know, and of course now we have the Latino. It, when, when the censorship finally finishes, you know, it's it's probably going to show the, the the Latinos are probably somewhere around seventeen plus percent. Uh, they're saying black population should go up should go up to around fourteen percent. The Asian population will, uh, will should go up to around six to seven percent. And from what I read, they're saying that the population of whites is, is remaining around 67%. So it hasn't really gone up or gone down that much. <clears throat> now this is drying out my throat, man. Or well, maybe it's because I'm talking. So basically, I'm all for, you know, Trump at least temporarily halting immigration. You know, and of course the Democrats are afraid that he's going to you know, halt immigration altogether, unless unless Trump repeals the Heart Solar Act of 1965. Because prior to 1965, uh, immigration was only for uh, for Europeans, uh, white folks from Europe, <clears throat> and they would let in some Chinese workers from China and from Japan. Uh, but other than that, it was mainly for, for white folks from Europe. And it wasn't until 1965 with the Heart Seller Act that, uh, that allowed, that allowed uh, and, and up to that point, it allowed only 250,000 Europeans to come over uh, per year. Then the Heart Seller Act came out, and it, and it, and it uh, pretty much was anyone from around the world, and it was a million people a year. And of course, I can see back then it wasn't that much. You know, a million, uh, uh, you know, back in 1965, U.S. population was way, way less than what it is now. But our population has ballooned. In case, you, in case you don't know, we are the third most populous country in the world, behind China and India. So people saying, "Oh man, a million, a million at nothing." But if you look at it, man, our population is the, the third most populous in the world. And 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 our land and, and of course our land mass is is about the size of China. China is a little bit bigger than the U.S. But our land mass is, is is about you know same same size as China, a little bit smaller. <clears throat> it's a little bit bigger. Not anyways. <clears throat> so yes, yeah, so, so we should bump the number down back to 250,000 and it should be uh, uh, was merit based you know and uh, and even then I kind of don't support it because number one you know we got all these doctors and nurses coming from India come from the Philippines and uh, and if you look into it uh, uh, there's 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 this, there's this, a, a scam going there's an immigration scam with with those people so basically, you got these people who, who basically become millionaires, sponsoring these people over to the U.S. <clears throat> so basically, what, what, what the uh, what the person will do is they'll, they'll go to a doctor or a nurse in India and Philippines and say, "Hey, I will sponsor you to the U.S. on a uh, you know work visa. <clears throat> you know when you get here, you know you, you got to pay me you know ten thousand dollars or or you know no I think it's more than that." But it's out there on the web. You just gotta look it up. So basically, yeah. So basically, let's say ten thousand dollars, which is which is on the low end. <clears throat> the high end will be somewhere around thirty thousand. So so the person says, okay. And of course, you know, if, if you're working in India, if you're a nurse or a doctor in India, you you're making like one tenth of what the doctors and nurses are making here in the U.S. So you say, okay, hey, there's no problem. You know, I, I can pay that off in 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 a year or two. Or, or, or pay it off in a couple of paychecks. <laughs> Who knows? Right. So that so that person will sponsor them over. They'll come over. They'll work at whatever hospital, and you know for the next year or whatever, they'll pay that person off, ten thousand dollars or twenty thousand dollars, thirty thousand dollars. <throat> so yes, the the doctors and nurse thing from India and 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 from Philippines is a scam. You know we we need. They need their doctors and nurses. We need our doctors and nurses. You know, keep them over there. <clears throat> okay, and the last thing I'll touch upon is the uh, Nova Scotia shooting, which happened over this last weekend. Today is what? 
but it's, it's almost a weekend so hopefully get this video uploaded for the weekend but uh, so basically this last weekend uh, I, I looked all over the news I couldn't find the guy's name but there was a video of him so, so he's a white guy because I, I automatically assume it's Nova Scotia so it's got to be a white guy so basically it started off with uh, I guess him arguing with his girlfriend it escalated to him trying to kill his girlfriend she runs away and the guy has a I guess a Kirk Douglas falling down moment I guess So he's walking around, so he's walking around trying to find his girlfriend because she runs off into the woods. Nova Scotia, there's tons of woods up there. And in case you're wondering, in Canada, it's not like the US, they are, they're like, Canada's like the UK, they, they are allowed rifles and shotguns, but not handguns. <clears throat> and I guess they can get handguns up there in Canada, it's just that you have to pay hefty, uh, hef hefty licensing fees and be a part of this and be a part of that like a, like, like a shooting club or something like that so basically he had a hunting rifle and he had a shotgun and then he uh, the handgun that he had he, he got he got when he killed a, a, a police officer a Nova Scotia police officer so while the guy's looking for his girlfriend he runs into a party and he kills something like 18, 20 people at, at, that's at that party. Uh, I guess Nova Scotia didn't get the uh, the memo that, hey, we're, we're in the plague and there's a lockdown. But uh, I guess the Nova Scotia, they're, they're not following it. <clears throat> yes, and that's in Canada, by the way. I have to reiterate. Damn it. If people are not familiar with what Nova Scotia is, just think of New York and just go up north. Uh, a little bit well uh, not, yeah a little bit and then about two hours out into the out into the Atlantic yes yeah, so Nova Scotia is about two hours past Eastern time <clears throat> and yeah it's it's uh, during the winter time it's a uh, snow on the ground all the time uh, they have a short winter <clears throat> but anyways <clears throat> yeah so the guy runs into this this party and he pretty much kills everybody there and, and, and then he goes down and he kills a a, 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 a couple the neighbor tried to help him. He, he kills the neighbor so in total they're saying the guy you know killed something like 24 people so so this wasn't like a uh, again this isn't your atypical shooting where a guy goes into a school goes to a mall uh, goes to a, a big department store <clears throat> And yes, and in Canada, supposedly in Canada, most folks have at least hunting rifles or shotguns in the house, from what I understand. But uh, the thing about it, you have you know, 18, 20 people at a party and nobody there has a shotgun or something to, to, to shoot back. Yeah, so the guy basically just went around that house and just shot up everybody. Yeah, and no, yeah, no, he didn't. They, they mentioned he has a rifle. They didn't. They didn't say it was a, a assault rifle. Yeah, I don't think you can get an AR-15 style rifle in Canada, anyways. And if he got one, he would have gotten it from the police cruiser, from the police officer that he shot. But they, they, they mentioned he only got her handgun. There was a female police officer. <clears throat> So of course, since this is in Canada, it's, it's mostly quiet here in the uh, mainstream news in the U.S. You know, I, I've only stumbled onto it when uh, I was, when I, when I guess, watching some, uh, uh, I guess, news online on YouTube, and then a, uh, uh, I guess, a, a uh, Canadian news channel uh, recommend. Uh, I guess, I guess, in the recommendation list, one of them was the Canadian Canadian news channel, and they had the headlines: of, "What mass shooting." Nova Scotia. Let me check it out. So yeah, I mean, you, you don't, you, yeah, you don't hear a peep, a peep about it here in in the uh, in the states because number one, it doesn't match. You know, it doesn't match the the uh, the narrative. It doesn't match the liberals' narrative. So you won't see. So you won't see CNN, MSNBC, CBS, you know, Washington Post, all of them, New York Times, any of them talking about it because it doesn't match match the narrative. 
And by the narrative, what I'm talking about is some, some guy, you know, with an AR-15, you know, going into a school, of course, schools are closed, or going to a mall, of course, malls are closed, or going to a large department store like Walmart or whatever, and that's, you know, Walmart's a pretty, uh, uh, you know, Walmart's a pretty, pretty empty. When you go, there's not a whole lot of people. So it doesn't match their narrative of a white male with AR-15 going into a public place and shooting up people. This this guy. Well, anyways, he, he was anyways he he was eventually shot dead by the Nova Scotia police. <clears throat> and what made it worse is that this guy actually had a, a, a I guess a police uniform of some type, <clears throat> and he had a, a fake police car. Yeah, so this guy was planning this you know, for, for years. <clears throat> so uh, so hopefully, I don't know, the, the, the guy was crazy. And if, the, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, if there was any red flag law, you know, yeah, someone like this guy is what the red flag law should go after. But of course, it, uh, it's Nova Scotia. You know? you, and the thing is, you don't know who, when or who someone's going to pop off. You know, and who knows what this girlfriend? And who knows the guy may have been nuts long before he met this girlfriend. They, they didn't. The news didn't mention how long, how long the the the, uh, the guy the guy and his girlfriend knew each other, how long they've been with each other. <clears throat> but I have a feeling this guy was nuts, you know, long before he met the girl. And uh, you know, some people are saying, well, you know, it might have been his girlfriend that that caused him. It might have been. You know, it might have been she caused him. It was like. They took that one little, took that one little extra thing, you know, that, to cause him to, uh, to snap and finally go off the, the, the deep end. Well, that's it. Enjoy your smoke. You can see the uh, it's nice, even burn. A very mild cigar. Uh, I can probably smoke two of these and 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 you know, and not get a, a nicotine buzz. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I mean, of course, this is my last one, so I can't even smoke two if I wanted to. <clears throat> but yeah, as you can see the ash. It's, it's kind of getting crooked a little bit. I might, I might need to turn this around. There you go, so that the ash doesn't fall down onto my feet. <clears throat> yeah, but definitely check out Nub. Yeah, Nubs are not for a long time, and I've never tried them until this last year, 2019. And I'm loving them. They're, 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 uh, they're, they're really they're not a slow smoke, but uh, but I guess in 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 the in the cigar world, I guess you can call nubs a a a, uh, a quick smoke. Uh, if I wasn't yakking, I'd probably be you know, almost through with this cigar. Uh, so, you know, most guys that this would be like a 15, 20 minute smoke. <clears throat> All right. Well, either way, enjoy your smoke. Have some gin and tonic. I, I still have a lot of tonic water in the refrigerator, and uh, and uh, I'm, I'm mixing it with orange juice, you know, uh, uh, cranberry juice. And now, now and then I'll have a, a a gin and tonic, and yeah, and 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 uh, you know, uh, I'm pretty sure most of us, because they're talking about we're almost you know, they almost got a vaccine. And they're talking about making it mandatory for everybody to take. I'm like, uh, no, <laughs> you know, <clears throat> you can find me. <clears throat> yeah, cause, cause, uh, cause, cause my thinking is that most of us <clears throat> probably already caught the coronavirus. It's just that, uh, you know, uh, uh, healthy folks, you know, you probably felt a little bit ill for like a week, you know, or two. And then you got over it. It's like, man, I had a sore throat. I was coughing a little bit. <clears throat> Wasn't feeling too well. And then, you know, I, you know next Monday, I, I felt okay. So that's probably how most of us got coronavirus and lived through it, not even know it. Because if, if, yeah, I really close on this. And if you try to go and get testing, <clears throat> you won't get testing because one, they'll look at your age, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll look at your symptoms. You know, if, and, and if you don't have all the symptoms, like if you just got a, uh, because if you just got a persistent cough, but you don't have a temperature, then oh, you just got a cold, go home. Or if you just got a sore throat, 
a little bit of a cough, but again, you, you're not you're not 70 years old. You know, you don't have a temperature. Uh, you can still smell. You can still taste. They'll tell you to go home. You know, get the hell out of here. Yeah. So yeah. So a lot of people are echoing what I'm saying. Is they, they you know they, they they felt a little they felt a little ill. Went to try to get a test. Was told to go home. So. Uh, <clears throat> So I'm not sure where they're getting the 800,000 infected people number from. <clears throat> it must be it must be all 70 year old plus people that went to the hospital. And uh, yeah, in the U.S., you know, the problem is I, I guess I don't know if the U.S. is trying to show the world uh, by over-reporting the the numbers of infected, over-reporting the numbers of dead. You know you. You know, you and of course, only doctors can uh, can sign can uh, can can declare someone dead. Uh, you know, I had a had a buddy who who was an EMT in in, in his earlier days, and uh, they went to a construction site mishap <clears throat> where someone got ran over by a steamroller. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's a sucky way to die. Hopefully, that guy got got rolled over head first. <clears throat> Well, so anyways, yeah, yeah. He said, yeah. We, he said, he said, we, he said, we got on site and we asked the, we asked the people, what do you want us to do? I mean, the guy was like an inch thick. And of course, they, being EMT, they couldn't declare the guy dead. They actually had to, you know, scrape him up, take him to a hospital, and then at the hospital have a doctor declare the guy dead. <clears throat> so, so, yeah, so, so, yeah. So the doctor or a coroner are the ones, and and, and I think it's actually the coroner that actually. After a doctor declares someone dead, the coroner is actually the one that goes, "Okay, this person died of this, or this person died of that." Well, normally the coroner will take what, what you know, take the suggestion from the doctor. The doctor will go, "Yeah, the person had a heart attack, <coughs> but it's probably coronavirus." Okay, coronavirus is what it is. You know, seventy-five-year-old man died of a stroke, uh, coronavirus. You know. Uh, you know, this uh, 50-year-old man died of, uh, uh, from asthma, coronavirus. And if you don't believe it, there's, there's videos out there of officials coming out saying, hey, you know, right now, pretty much anyone who comes to the hospital and dies at the hospital, <clears throat> you know, we're going to, uh, we're going to label it as a coronavirus death. So, uh, <clears throat> there you go. Well, well, that's it. Enjoy your smoke for one more time. Stay safe. Hopefully, we can get get back. Hopefully, society gets reopened. We go back to work. I don't like living in this, uh, 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 s you know, Venezuelan style <coughs> socialist society, pseudo socialist society we're living in. Everything's locked down. You can't do that. Can't do this. <coughs> And if you ask me that this is being over this is being blown you know we, we are we are the horse that's being sold to the glue factory basically all right <clears throat>